As college students, we all get hungry a lot. We like to eat. We're freshmen. We're going to gain 15 pounds whether we want to or not. So we spend a lot of money on food a lot. We can't always afford the good food. So it's peanut butter jelly time. I'm Derek, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make the perfect peanut butter and jelly sandwich and tell you why you should make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Can I get someone to come up here and demonstrate? Nathan. Just a few easy steps to make the greatest sandwich in the world. They, they say average high schoolers, by the time you graduate, you'll have eaten 2,500 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. All right, we start, you get the bread. <coughs> you get it, you get it in two separate pieces. If you're packing for long distance, like going to school, you'll actually put peanut butter on both sides to keep the jelly from going through the bread and making it soggy. So if you put peanut butter on both sides. You don't want too much peanut butter though. Otherwise you'll have a dry mouth. <laughs> <laughs> So you want to get a decent amount of peanut butter, but not too much. And you don't want to just put it all in the middle. You want to spread it evenly throughout. Probably more. Yeah, you're going to need more peanut butter, though. I'm sorry. It's a flimsy knife. you got to get a real sturdy knife. Once again, college students have to do what they can. True that. Yeah. So you're going to put it on both sides. And then once you're done with that, you'll get the handy dandy peanut butter and jelly sandwich making jelly container. You don't even have to spread it, it does it itself. It's very convenient. And actually, if you want to make a really big sandwich, you can just use the whole thing. But the world's largest peanut butter jelly sandwich weighed 1,300 pounds. But as you can tell, you need to spread it evenly. You don't want to just, you know, just dump it on there. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are a healthy alternative to eating pizza every day, which is what we've pretty much all been doing. You want to get your jelly? <laughs> get a decent amount, because jelly is better than peanut butter, let's face it. And spread it out. <coughs> now if you've got it however much you want, you put your other piece of bread on top, and you're good to go. And that probably costs you 30 cents. People say they're not healthy. I disagree. Even Jesus says they're healthy. They're cheap, easy to do, and they take three minutes to make. Tops, that's if you're slow. If you're a woman, you can probably have it done in like two seconds. But Well, that's how I make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Thank you, you can now eat this. Oh, yeah. <laughs>